let's learn about it. Good morning class, Dari Rahim here and before we start, let you just know that this channel is all about making videos and so do subscribe for more content. Right now, I'm all about the DJI FPV drone and so today, let's learn about rates. By the way, these are aftermarket props. I'll be reviewing them in a future video so do stay tuned. Tuned like rates tuning. Uh huh. Okay, so let's begin. So a few have DM me asking for my finalized rates and on the initial rates that I've shown, uh, they also asked like how and why do I fly with such rates okay so I'm gonna explain it to you as best as I can don't worry it's not gonna be a like boring classroom uh, lecture or whatsoever I just need to get some basics right and then we'll get out on the field where I'll bring you through the whole tuning process for your rates now if you're not interested in all of that here's my finalized rates after tuning and you can just copy and paste that and use it on your own so when I meant that it is a very personal thing is because that um, for myself I as a pincher or hybrid okay I as a hybrid have some um, restrictions I feel that there's some restrictions in my movements of the sticks itself forward and backward movement of the sticks is easier than right and left okay I, I don't know I just feel there's some restriction there okay Let's first get an understanding of what are the parameters that you see within your goggles about the rates uh, tuning itself. And this, what you see here, is referencing to the right side of the sticks where we have the pitch axis and then the roll axis. CS is going to be the center sensitivity of the sticks itself around the center of the controls. Max rate is basically the speed, how fast your quad rotates, uh, what's the maximum that it will go. And then expo is how linear that controls is going to be whether you want it to be uh, a linear movement as you're moving the sticks or you want a more gradual movement okay i'll get to that later in my flow of tuning i will start with the max rate first followed by expo and then the cs um why max rate first because i just want to determine how fast the quad will spin will rotate uh, before i get to anything else so now in this instance we're going to focus on the pitch axis first where the steps involved in this tuning will be no different for your roll and your your axis okay so your sticks how i'll determine the max rate of the pitch is the same as when i fully deflect my sticks 100 percent how fast will the quad spin right if it's too slow you bring it up if it's too fast then you bring down the number of the max rate once you feel that when you fully deflect and return the sticks back to center the rate that the, the quad um, flips is fast enough then you're good to go you can already move on to uh, tuning in the expo so what is it about the expo is about how your stick input will then relate to how the quad reacts so if you had a 25% stick input the quad is going to spin at 25% rate you go up to 75% it's going to give you 75% rate now some may not want this kind of linear movement so if you were to increase your expo itself to maybe say 0.4 like for example i prefer 0.4 because this is going to shift um the sensitivity of your stick input up meaning to say it may be it may look something like this if I move the sticks up 25%, it may only give me around 15% rate of rotation. Um, I move it up to 50%, then maybe a bit more. So it basically gives you a more gradual um, reaction of the quad. Some may even increase the expo up to 1.0 where if you were to give the sticks input of 50%, the quad may only register it as a 25% rotation input. So now more or less, once you've got your max rate and expo dialed in, you can then tune in the center sensitivity. For me, I'll set the CS at zero first, uh, so I can settle these two portions, and then I will then focus on the center sensitivity. Now, what does CS do is that basically, you how how reactive or how muted you want your stick input to be like um, for example if you know that you have jittery hands and this center zone is where 
you want to mute it up a bit, that's what you'll be doing, increasing the CS. So whether it is very reactive or you want a bigger space of um, mutedness if I were to call it uh, basically there will be no input until you go beyond the CS space how that exactly is on the on the sticks is something you have to feel for yourself that's why I can't emphasize enough that for rates tuning it is really a personal feel depending on how you handle the controls okay that has been more or less the theory about the rates so let's go right so now out on the field uh, bear with me I'm sweating a lot is it's really hot but I'm not gonna complain because it's better than having the uh, rainy weather alright so we're gonna get into the rates focus on just the uh, roll rates right so that we don't we, that we won't make this video too long my rates I have reset to the stock DJI rates center sensitivity I make it zero expo I have actually uh, also set it to zero because I don't I want it to be linear for now so you'll follow me through from bringing the stock rates up to my preferred rates for roll right as I mentioned also the pitch and then the your follow the same steps and you'll go no wrong in tuning them hopefully you can hear me while I'm wearing this mask uh, so just cruise around uh, I'm gonna focus on the rates for the roll itself so let's give it a full stick deflection currently I find that the the stock rates are very slow meaning to say I'll show you again uh, I'm on full stick deflection and it takes a while to do the roll so I'm gonna come back uh, bump up the roll numbers a bit maybe try let's try 750 alright power up oh a lot faster so let's try again not enough okay my half and half can't reach the mark yet okay coming back let's bump it up to 900 okay let's try that 900 rate it's all right fast and controllable let's try a half and half hmm Okay, let's just try, uh, let's bring it up to 1001, let's see how that handles. By the way, uh, 1001 is a really fast rate, so I advise you really, um, stand by that uh, pause button, in any case, you better be ready to recover the drone. Oh, 1001 actually feels good, a very comfortable rate for me now, uh, let's try half and half. Feels good. Right. Okay, I'll be trying some TikToks. Okay, fresh new bed in. Uh, the TikToks feel a bit weird. So I'm gonna go and... When I mean weird, it, it just feels like... Um, it's too reactive like the amount of sticks that I move I want it to be a bit uh, turn a bit slower so okay I'm gonna up the expo a bit okay now my uh, expo is set at 0 0.5 so far the turns feel good um, let's tune up the okay uh, last one uh, maybe we, we go a bit extreme let's bring it up to 1 Okay, Expo is now at 1. I tell you, scares the shit out of me because now I can't feel the... If you are looking at the sticks now, okay, I bring you to a safe space. Huh? I'm moving the sticks but I'm not getting any roll. Okay, okay, 1 is way too much. Let's bring back the quad slowly. Okay, so now stick sensitivity, I've uh, put it at 50. Oh, by the way, I've brought the Expo back down to 0 0.5. Flies all right.
Uh, let's try the center sensitivity, bring it up to 100. Okay, I'm really happy with how it feels now. The TikToks are also very controllable. Uh, it doesn't look like it's uh, jerky or stiff. It can flow better in this in this manner. Okay, I'm down to 42%. Let's try center uh, stick sensitivity. Bring it up to 100 and 150 uh, maybe okay never mind 150 is actually the stock itself one uh, close to stock so i'm gonna bring it up to 200 and let's see how it feels on the flight Okay, I'm uh, currently happy with the current rates but in that close to 20 minutes of flying all I covered was only the pitch and that's after multiple tries so you would want to expect that as you are set, uh, tuning up your rates Okay, so I hope that walkthrough with you has been uh, a, a good experience uh, it, uh, just let you know that it, takes, it, take, it does take a while for you to tune up your rates perfectly to your own style of flying uh in this one session i definitely cannot cover everything all right so i'm gonna stick to those rates i can then in my next next flight next next flight tune up the uh roll uh, tune up the pitch and then the yaw itself so anyways i'm gonna wrap up this video right here uh if you have found the the whole tutorial useful and it gets you moving into setting up your own rates uh, do give it the video a like if you haven't subscribed to the channel and this is your first time, do subscribe and follow me through my journey as I make more content. Do chat with me in the comment section down below and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hey, hello. Welcome to Raimi's vlog. Being a cheapo, if you can get something cheaper and it performs the same, why not? The uh, gold cream one. Momonofish.